Hey, what's up, guys? Today, coming at you again with another episode of Wild Frost. Let me tell you, in between the last video and now, I put an absolutely monstrous run up there to the top. I don't think this team is going to be too scary, unless we let Fizzle pop off, in which case I'm very scared. My question again is how things like recycle and trash work for the enemy. I think last time I had a team like this up here, I didn't get the chance to find out. But I'm, I'm interested in seeing how this works since she has recycle. But either way, I almost beat the, the final, final boss. But what screwed me was that I inked the Jailer, which is the one that prevents you from moving. And I was not counting down his ink timer appropriately. So when his ink disappeared... I, my units became locked again, and I had just moved around in the worst possible position to get locked. So just a small oversight in this game hit me very hard. And that's, that's the thing. In this game, you could make one mistake, and it can ruin your whole life. Especially when you're that far in. But either way, let's just get there again and win this time. This is the first leader I think I've ever seen who's geared to work with the sacrifice build. That's pretty cool. Gain one block on kill. I like that three turn timer. I like the three turn timer here as well. Let's see. I do want to try sack build, but also I like I like free row here. Um We'll try free row. Let's see. We went Snoop last time, I think. I don't want to do Bushu because the timer is so long. We need someone to hit before us and deal damage. I think Sneasel is not as good as I original. I think it's still just Loki and Snoop right now for me are the best. We'll just take Snoop. Let's get into it. Okay, the wild snoof has smack back. We don't like that at all. I think we can just scrappy sword this guy. And then we'll snow you, which will result in you dying. Yep. Alright. We got big boy operations here. The truth is that that guy's not going to be damaged for a while, so we just need to keep hitting him. That'll kill the goblin up top. Just hit this guy a lot. <laughs> Reduce his attack. The snow knight. You know what? Let's see... I think it might be worth trying to just get a sword and take this guy out real quick. Spider Knight's gonna hit Snoo for one. We sleep. I mean, I could just lock this guy out for a while. Shift my focus down to this Winter Worm so we can try to actually kill him. You know, let's keep you. Now we need the damage like this. We'll put the. Would head out just in case we should somehow screw this up. Alright, perfect. Redraw me. Let's move everyone back up top. Scrappy sword kill there. That guy with the shell charm is insane. Alright, now this is a wrap for you, brother. Again, I, I much prefer Big Pang to the Snow Knight because the econ you can get against Big Pang is way more. Alright. 2x Traveler or 2x Treasure? We'll take the 2x Traveler. Get our team rolling quickly here. Especially with the Blink Snail Cave because that means the crown comes easy. Alright. You know what? It's hard to pick between these two when they're together. Let's just take Yuki again. We did good work with her last time. Let's try to make it happen once more. Okay. Snobble. We'll grab you. It's looking really similar. I actually don't know in this game if you get the chance to pick again once you turn someone down. 
I feel like that's something I maybe should have figured out by now. Okay, so we actually don't need to worry about you at all, because if I just snow stick you, you're going to die to free row. And then you will die to just him. So let's just wood head out. Save the scrappy sword in case we need it for something. So we'll sunrod snoop there. And that means free row will get that kill. Go and redraw, see what we're working with. I think we can afford to drop Yuki out. Let's go ahead and snow you. Okay, this guy's about to barrage, and we dislike that tremendously. I think we organize it like this. Keep the woodhead around from this more important. You're gonna you're gonna you're gonna leave. I can't snow you. Can't prevent you from leaving. I can sunrod Yuki to get you to a at least get hit once, but I think the sunrod's more valuable. We'll just take four bling and just let him go. Queen Globberry comes out. Alright, let me tell you what I'm thinking. Let's organize it like this so we can get big hits on both these guys. We don't have to worry about teeth if you just die instantly. Let's make that happen. Actually, yeah, let's do it like this so we can just go ahead and kill you. We'll have turn timers before Glowberry gets to go because we'll get a snow stick here. Easy work. Attempt to apply two snow, but only one to need through. Keep smacking him till he dies. Perfect. I said he, that's clearly Queen Globberry. Alright. We're out of there. Okay, Shade Sculptor for a chance of duplication. I think I'm worried about duplication right now. Let's go treasure. Out of this lot. I want to say I'll take the frost bell. I think this can end up being six damage, or this is always four saved. Realistically, though, this matters more, I think. When hit, gain one frenzy. We can't hit you with anything right now. I think Shelly is nice because our units are going to be killing like crazy. We'll keep you on the bench for now, though. I'll see how this shakes up. Okay, we'd love to see a snow cake. Because of Yuki. And also, we want to put the crown on Yuki. I think you just tore me and we roll on here. Came through shield on kill. That's going to have to go on Yuki. And that way, whenever we bring Shelly out, Yuki can just become a massive tank, and that would be amazing. Okay, this fight's going to be probably a little difficult. Alright. Let's just go ahead and snow stick you. Okay, free row will kill you, actually. If that's the case, let's bring this up here. Let's just flame water snoof. He's about to hit. That guy's gonna hit for two damage. You know what? I would love to see this bell. Just make that nothing. This barrage is also gonna be for nothing, which is nice. Let's just go ahead and sword you. So you'll die to free row. Would love to see a sword off the top. Perfect. Little two turn combo for you there. I think we want Snobble out as an extra source of snow. Not too worried about things at the moment. 
Okay, you're gonna hit for six damage, which is tremendously scary. That bottom row is also about to hit for big damage, which is tremendously scary. All right, Snoof, God bless you, but it's time for you to go. All right, try this out. This fight is always hard. I made a mistake by not respecting that guy's timer at all. We're actually just going to lose here. That's unfortunate. Well, I think that was just very poor unit management on my part. Team composition as well was a little rough for him for no coat. It's way better. I think I had to burst in for no coat down sooner and keep the weaker units on the field longer. Because his backup units can be very strong. Let's just quick restart me. Someone bebop. Apply to ink. That could be good. Gain one block on kill. I sleep. Let's summon bebop and go for a soul flame build. Give me snoop again. I would love to see a pet that applied soul flame. I don't know if we're going to get one of those at some point. But that'd be pretty sick. Nice. I much prefer this fight. Go ahead and tar blade you out of existence because you got smacked back. That's scary. Go ahead and do the same for you. Good luck playing this game ever again. afford to do it do it like this it goes be bup be bop is just doing God's work out here for us okay that whole bottom row is going to get hit with four soul flame here and grind our way out through this top row nice 3x combo we'll get a 2x combo up here on the top row as well perfect and then we don't even really mind this guy because we can just get bebop out as a blocker I will bring Jinjin out too. So this could go either way, actually, I think about it. We could lend ourselves well to the sack build. The way it wasn't as direct as the last guy, so I guess what I was saying was wrong. There are kind of multiple ways you can do that. Because we could just constantly bring Bebop out to sack him. See, we just ended up with 70 gold, where we had like 49 last time. So much more gold than that. This is like the exact same bottom row as last time, and we'll also choose this one as well. See what kind of synergies we want. You know what, Tusk giving our Bebop thorns makes it a little better to bring out every time. Ooh, Monch or Devacrow? I don't think I have just ever picked Devacrow, but we're going to take it. And we just have to accept that right now our build's a little all over the place. First off, I don't like you playing the game. Go ahead and get this pup ball out of the way. Okay, 
get that coming. Get redraw out here. You're gonna pass away. Oh my gosh, a puffball with the health charm thing. I hate that. I'm gonna force this guy to hit my leader twice and kill himself with the thorns. That was an awful idea. I forgot about the puffball triggering as well. So we almost killed the puffball, but we died of poison immediately. Holy shite. This is two really rough runs for us right here. I'm not gonna lie. Kill two enemies with teeth. Okay, I think that's for our next pet. So we need teeth for the next pet. Quick restart. I mean, let's get out here. I love a 6-6 six, six with barrage. I wish that was a little lower timer, though. We could take a 10-4 with barrage with the lower timer. So that's four extra health. At the cost of two damage. I think we'll go this guy. Go ahead and get snoof again. Snoof episode. Perfect. I wonder what would happen if you inked a naked gnome. I'm gonna do it. Just for giggles. The answer is nothing. I asked just because it said he did absolutely nothing, and I was like, what if we inked him? Would that make him do something? <laughs> the answer is no. He does absolutely nothing. Let's just go ahead and smite you out of existence with some gold for us here. Okay, nice. We'll have barrage timer when the new wave comes in so we can get a 3x kill. Bring in some revenue. Okay, we're gonna actually get a 5x kill here. That's gonna be amazing for our revenue. Ooh. That was big. Now you're never playing this game again till you die. That was amazing. We're gonna leave this with so much gold. Like our first shop is gonna be killer. Yeah, 97 gold leaving the first battle. That's amazing. All right, we'll go treasure traveler traveler this time. Honestly, I love a Mimic. Can use one to great effect here. We took the Mimic. I think Foxy is nice. So hard to turn down Snoffle every time, though. But Foxy is just a safe, all-around guy. Apply 2 Bomb. We also like that for us, I think, with Foxy and the Mimic. Okay, we got some synergies building up. Are they fantastic? Well, that's... For fate to decide here. We can go ahead and get Foxy out. We don't need to worry about that mimic right now. But we certainly will kill him. Alright, you're gaining teeth when you get hit, which scares me. Actually, we could silence that, though. I think we will do that. A little unfortunate we don't get the kill right there, but we're going to have the barrage ready. Hopefully a lot of enemies coming in on the top row. Perfect. Forex combo there. Oh. The revenue is piling up. We can drop our own mimic here. Which will make this guy die. Perfect. That Mimic does nothing, so we can go ahead and get BG out while we got free. And we're going to have two timers come off. Which is so good. The Ringer. 
I think we'll actually just let those guys go off on the bottom row there. I mean, they're definitely going to kill him before we have to worry about the rear. Okay. Lots of stuff going on here. Swap these two. Ink you, because you're a pain, for sure. That was a quick and easy kill. We have so much gold early on. You love to see that. Having a hero with barrage just makes your early economy so strong. Let's just make it even more gold, why don't we? Let's see what charm we can get out of here. Frog charm, game fury 3. I think that just goes either on the leader or foxy, whichever one we prefer. I think Foxy, though, we want to beef up with the Mimic, so let's put it on the leader. And then if we ever get him alone, that's a massive barrage. Alright, what do we got in here? Add one Frenzy, apply four bomb. GG's cookie box for the Mimic is really good. I'm, I'm going to take that. I'm going to take a crown here. We want to crown Foxy, and then we want to crown our Mimic, I think. Add one Frenzy and gain aim. Well, can't put that on you. I think putting this on BG might be the play. I think BG going again would be pretty good. And I'm not too upset if it's aimless. And then Blaze Bomb, I was sleeping on that. I think we take that because that can go on the Mimic. And we don't care if the Mimic has Bomb applied. He dies to any hit anyway. Alright. Love to see an ink on you for sure. Alright. We got our Sun Song box here. Let's just recycle one on you. This gear hammer will kill you there. I wish we could have held that for when more units came in, but it's okay. Draw here and think about what we're doing. He's got three attack now. Make Junkhead take this for us. And then we'll put our Mimic down. Have him transform. All right. Well, I think we can go ahead and blaze bomb the mimic here. Snoof, I think it's time for you to die. I hate to admit it, but we're going to have to have you handle that bottom row for us. Or actually, we could recall Snoof and then just put BG up there. We could recall BG and then... Let's redraw the hand here. Okay. Gotta think. A mimic trigger doesn't give us more damage. Actually, it would because the mimic has the um frenzy. 
Okay. So we want a Sun Song box. You kill that entire top row. Mimic smacks twice the boss. Okay, and then we just make this happen here. Give me a Foxy. Actually, the Mimic doesn't need to die right now. We can just throw BG up here. BG, take that hit for me, Queen. Okay, now I think BG actually has to die for us here. Because we can't let that hit the row with the leader in it. This guy is dead. Alright, BG. We love you. Maybe I should have moved into the bottom row for maybe Econ. We're gonna get a little economy there. Okay, make that a two kill combo for me. Let me redraw a bell. BG's injured, we hate to see that. Okay, we gotta go take this bottom route. Machine's okay, because we get a pretty decent shop. Trigger against anything that's hit with bomb. Well, we do have BG applying some random bomb. I think we're okay with taking that. We love that. We love that. We love this for sure. We're going to crown our Mimic. Okay, I think that was an incredible shot for us. Okay, no teeth. That's what we love to see. Let's go ahead and get rolling. We're okay with that. Okay. So we just allow Snoop to take two damage, I think, and then we just go insano mode here. Okay, so you're gonna do four. Which will trigger the mimic and kill. You're gonna do four again. It's this guy. Which will trigger the mimic. Won't kill, but then you'll do four again, which will yeah, this this just wipes this whole board here. We'll just put the bombardier down for some tempo, I guess. I didn't count the shell getting added, that's tough. That's fine. We do still kill them all because I wasn't even banking on Snoof's attack being useful. Okay. Let's redraw me here. Alright, you already know who it is. I did not think our Bombardier would trigger against our own thing when we did that. That's something to think about in the future. Okay, this whole roll will die just to the barrage. Then Mimic will trigger twice to kill you. Okay. So we just hit you. Gosh, we're loving these 3x combos. Let's just get the Bombarder out of here because we're like not happy with that thing right now. Sucks we're losing timers there, but it is what it is. Alright, Bolgo, I sleep. I'm just snow you for a while. Redraw. We want to see... We'll just make our Mimic even more insano mode. Just prevent you from attacking for now. Doesn't really mean too much to us. This mimic is just gonna absolutely annihilate everything. Perfect. It's a lot of gold. And you recover from injuries. We love to see that. I don't know if there's anything we super want to duplicate right now. I think we maybe want to see some new travelers here and switch our strategy up some. I'll 
Fly 4 Bomb hits all enemies. I actually think I like that a lot. I also love a Sunlight Drum for us, though. I think we want to try to find a Muncher and feed away some of our less important strats. None of these appeal to me at all. I'll just take Blunky for the memes. We're not doing too much with junk. Big Barry, I'd love to see him, though. And that does answer my question, though. If you can indeed bump into someone again if you turn them down, because we just got that same guy back-to-back. -back. All right, Wooly Drek, we hate you. Would love to kill you fast. Add one frenzy to you for sure. Let Gleer take this two damage. We're gonna make it where you're not gonna play the game for a while. Okay. We don't have a lot of damage right now to actually do much to this guy. Which is unfortunate. We haven't got a lot of our buffs. That's whatever. We're gonna hit him hard. Alright, we got two damage coming from this guy. Let's see what we... What you, would've been nice to get this Molten Dip last turn. That's fine, we'll just let you hit us for two damage. I think we want to do this for sure. This is going to kill you, and then the Mimic's going to trigger twice and kill you. And then you have Smack back, so we we hate your guts. We have Trash Wind hit up there. Okay, the Wooly Drek got to do nothing. We love it when that happens. I think this time we can have Snoop take this, but we gotta be careful. Actually, you know what? That's our way of being careful. I wanted to put Snoop up there first. I just threw Foxy away by mistake. Mm, the misclicks, the misclicks. Okay. Okay. Holy misclick me, Batman. Alright, BG, you gotta pay for my sins. The guy has aimless. Wow. Wow. That is embarrassing. That run just fell apart so fast. We went from doing it big to throwing, like, insanely fast. Okay, long shot. 8-1, I sleep. Aimless, I sleep. <laughs> This guy's like the only decent choice. Let's just take Loki this time. Wow. The past three runs honestly have been some of our worst in recent. Alright, big ping again. We like to see that. We're going to sunburst use solely for econ. Go 2x combo, nice. I wish I could just pass, but sadly I don't have that choice. Okay, we can just keep you stunned for a while. We can tar blade you to get some damage on you so you're in the barrage death range when reinforcements come, because the demonize is going to allow us to kill this guy. Alright, nice big pang bottom row, please. He's in the top row. Damn. Okay. I want this 3x kill. And I'm gonna sunburst tattoo here for the hope he hits that middle penguin. Alright, didn't happen. Would have loved to see a 4x there. 
So we got lots of tar blades. Got blade on blade on blade. Right, that might mess up our econ of smidge. We're goaded. We have Jinjin come in and take this hit. And the next tar blade will kill the auto goons before they go off. You know, it's funny because the Waddle Goons makes me remember something I saw yesterday. So Shaq put out a song recently, which I know Shaq's a very talented man, you know, post his basketball career. He decided to do a bunch of different things. He mostly promotes. I think that's where his income comes from. He does all kinds of product placements and whatnot. And that gets him, you know, boatloads of money because everyone trusts Shaq. Shaq's a cool guy. I didn't know he was a musician. Apparently he's been doing some, I believe, under the name DJ Diesel. And he started to make his own song. And it featured, I think, two kind of up-and-coming rappers might be the best term. They're not, like, mainstream. I think they're just content creators in a way that just happen to be rappers. I might be framing that poorly, but <clears throat> it was... Gosh, I can't even remember their ads. But Shaq had verse number one. And then this is a very long explanation for the Waddle Goons. But Shaq had verse number one, which was something. And then um, it was, or two females. I, for life of me, I cannot remember the ads. But the second verse was by one of them. And I think she actually did a really good job. I'm, gonna lie, I'm not going to lie, the third verse was not hitting it for me. But at one point, she did drop a line. He likes the way I wobble. But it also kind of said like that I like the way I waddle. Which, both in and out of context, to me, is fucking hilarious. So, the Waddle Goons just reminded me of that, and that was a very long explanation, but you should go listen to the song and formulate your own opinions on it. We're back to Wild for us. We had two picks. I'm not really a big fan of either of these for us right now. The Egg, I could see doing an amount of work at some point, if we choose to lean into that. I think we kill their whole board here. Alright, we hate an Ice Lantern. Okay, you have Smack back, so I think we maybe just don't want to deal with you right now. Put an egg down. Can tar blade this mimic. And we can snow you. The ringer comes out. He's bottom row. Okay. Gotta hope we don't hit the one with smack back, but then again, it's not really that bad if we do. Not very strong. It's pretty out June June. We did indeed hit the one with smack back, unfortunate. Alright, we can kill him with a tar blade. We can also kill this guy with a tar blade, which would be nice to get him out of the picture. Just keep hitting my egg bozo. Alright. Getting the barrage up up here will kill this guy for him. No more reinforcements coming, so we're just left with the ringer. And he has five damage, so he'll kill the egg for us, thankfully. Just keep working on hitting him here. Drag is back, baby. Alright. Let's count down you, because you deal damage. Snob will why not make an appearance? Keep you snowed. Alright, Drag, please just win the game. He should do it here with the demon eyes. Er Alright, injured egg is good for us because it's easy to transform. You know what, we got a lot of gold because of the Charm Merchant. 
Taiga can do some tanging. We like that. I think we bench Schnabel here. Okay, I love an Azul Battle Axe. We don't have any Soul Flame Synergy right now, but I just love this axe. Because it deals so much damage. The Snow Cake is nice as well, but I'm going to take the axe. We don't have any particular synergy for either. I just haven't got the chance to play with the axe. Okay, 3-3-3. Three, three, three. We wouldn't love to see that on anyone right now. Frenzy and Aimless. Loki already has Aimless. I don't know if it'll let us put it that on him. Okay, this is literally a lumined up Blaze T though. Which could go crazy for us. We'll take that. And we're going to take the Frenzy Charm. And this is going to go on... Well, I just wasted funds on that because I thought I could put that on Taiga. But we're going to put it on the Axe. And that's going to be hilarious. Okay, and then we're going to... We don't have the money for that. You don't have the required damn. The way she looked at me. I'm sorry, bro. I know I'm broke. All right, here we are. Azul battle axe me. That's a decent distribution on that. Now get yourself killed, Bozo. All right, I think we're gonna blaze T the leader here. I think we're fine with this distribution. Alright. We can get a barrage on the top and the bottom row and kill the snow gobbler. Actually, I think everybody's gonna die now I think about it if we barrage the top and the bottom because of the soul flame. Doesn't really matter who we hit there. Oh. That's right, Infernoco occupies both rows. Okay. her but we're gonna get drag out which is nice I would like to see the extra units coming out here before I redraw we can afford three damage on the leader that's fine all right we'll just knock that guy out of existence all right, a couple things we would love to see here. Okay. You're gonna do one damage, let's put that one damage on Loki and then let's... Let's freeze you here. This could go all kinds of wrong, but I'm insane. All right, please hit him for Noko. Oh, it's gonna work either way, actually. Better that for us that way, because of Econ. Perfect. So we were actually never really that far in danger, I'm just not thinking through clearly enough. Okay. I would love to take that bottom round so much, but we can't. Boost effects by 5 and gain consume. I'm gonna put that on the berry bell. Giving everyone plus six health and then thinning the deck, that is an amazing card. And she popper on the enemy side. We gotta take the goop. Alright, give me something good. I feel like best is the best out of this group, but we're not too attached to either of them, really. Alright. When hit gain teeth, I hate you. Okay, we'll do that one again immediately. Gonna bring Jun Jun out here. 
and we have a very slow start to be honest but that is A-OK -okay because we're going to go ahead and berry bail this row so these guys just become demonstrably tanky. Alright. Junjun's going to kill that person for us and then take an amount of damage. Or, we'll go ahead and get Dreg. Thank you. Deal damage equal to additional nut. That means you're just killing whoever you attack. Let's just bring out this on that row. It's perfect for us there. Alright, our safety drop tiger here, I think. Okay. Then we'll kill you. There's gonna be a barrage coming down. Owned. Alright, Drag, just kill this guy and then let's just freeze the boss. Perfect. I would love for the Shell Witch to die to teeth. Which it looks like that's what's gonna happen here. Gets us a teeth kill. And this should keep you frozen. I mean, you're you're long gone, kid. Jujun, make a guest appearance and watch us own this scrub. The one damage tar blade kill because demon in this. Big revenues, baby. Tiger recovered from injuries. That's necessary. Okay, we discussed doing some munching earlier. I think. Or am I thinking about last run? I probably am thinking about last run. Alright. That means we'll go topside. Azul Skull could be useful because of... Um, because of the egg and then because of occasional June June. I don't know if I care too much about that. I think Mega Mix is probably best for us right now. Mega Mimic and regular Mimic, I think we can make that work. The Molten Dip is nice too, though. It's kind of a tough choice here. Between the two. I think we like the Mimic, though. Alright, regular Charm me again. Sun Charm reduced by one. We actually love that a lot for our leader. Because we are typically upping the leader with this Blaze T. Alright. I hate you guys a lot. I have to think of our way out of this. And the answer to if there even is one. You're gonna die. Or maybe you give your life for the greater good. If you hit this marrow that's so big. Oh. We love a king who gives his life for the cause. Okay, this bottom row will die here. Okay, the aimless overriding my barrage there saved my life. Blade you. I think Taika comes down here to protect this top row because that guy's got some damage. Alright. Let's freeze you just so you can die for us here. Okay, we're down to one health. This could get really dicey. 
Oh my job. And aimless now applied to everyone. Okay. I think we have to freeze you. like this. Alright, let's bring this up to the top row. I hate that. What? Guys? I am mixing up the placement of my units. I thought the teeth guard was in front of my leader. This twice we've lost runs, this video just to me looking the wrong way. I guess it becomes a theme. You know what? Maybe it's time we just chill. No progress was made in Wild Frost on this day. We just got owned for me not knowing how to look. Oh, it's tough. Mogbag, we will defeat you. One of these days been a lot of playing so I think I'm gonna wrap it up here guys hope you enjoyed watching I just screwed around for a little bit please don't forget to like share and subscribe and hopefully you have a beautiful rest of your day see you next time